Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. I'm out in the park with Plastic Prehistory. Hello! She's filming, and we actually went down to Target in the States. We all live up here in Canada, so we don't get a lot of the big sales or exclusive figures, and I was down in BC from Edmonton, um, so I decided why not just scoot on down over the border and check out some Targets and Walmarts, and lo and behold, they had some crazy deals, huge sales, so if you take a look, they had the 93 collection. Um, I was not able to find the Red Rex, which is unfortunate. We visited about two or three targets and no luck. But we were able to pick up the two human character sets as well as the vehicle set. Um, we also found the Dr. Ellie Sattler uh, Risky Rescue Pack on sale for like $24, which is insane for a vehicle, a human, and a dinosaur. Pretty crazy. Um, I think I found the search and smash truck at Kohl's. Um, that guy was reasonably priced, it was like $32. And then I found these guys at a variety of different stores in um, the mall in Bellingham actually. There was Kohl's, Macy's, and I think also Walmart and Target. So um, I had to go to a lot of places to track them down, but they actually started surfacing here in Canada for about $30 each, which is absolutely nuts. So I'm really glad I found them down there. We also found the Pachycephalosaurus and Concavenator from the Hammond Collection. These guys are not in Canada. Um, Canadian stores like Toys R Us, uh, Walmart, and GameStop um, have not been picking up the new lineup, so we might not see them again. So. I'll probably be ordering the rest on Amazon or do another trip down to the States whenever I'm uh, in the province. We also found the Series 1 Minis. Um, I'm pretty sure I got all of the new ones except for the Stigimolic set. And I found one Wave 2 Mini. Um, the box was busted so it made it slightly easier to see what was inside. Um, so I picked up that guy but they only had like a handful left so I couldn't complete that line. Um, and the baby Brachio I found at Toys R Us. Um, that guy was about, I'm gonna say like 13 or 14 dollars after tax, which isn't too terrible for Canadian, but I've heard it's been pretty hard to find. Um, a lot of Canadian collectors up here have been posting different Walmarts and whatnot, and uh, it seems like everything but the Brachio is on shelves. It may be one of those figures where it's like one per box or whatever, so I'm glad I could track it down. And the final figure, oh, besides the Dreadnoughtus, which was on sale for 45 bucks, that was a score, um, is this baby Indominus um, hatchling from the Imaginex lineup. That guy's super cute. I usually don't collect the Imaginex lineup, but it was just too perfect and adorable not to uh, pick up, so... Uh, I'll be unboxing a few of these out here um, until my battery runs out. I didn't bring scissors, so I'll probably not get around to the box sets, but I'll definitely do the Dreadnoughtus and uh, the 93 Classic sets as well as the Minis. So stay tuned for those, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.